Okay, everybody, so you guys know, this is what my late husband's urn looks like. As you can see, his name is Ron, R-O-N. And, um, you're probably wondering what this little lizard thing was. That was his toy pet lizard when I met him. And, um, his original one got destroyed, so I found an exact replica and I bought this for him. And he's loved this fake lizard ever since. But I put this, this urn, he's always with me, he always will be. I put my, my first, my first martial arts, um, award on his, um, urn. It's a medal for second place. It's not a second, it's not a first place, but I'm proud of a second place because I did this while being in several, in pain with my shoulder, with both my, well actually with both my shoulders being injured and um, swollen and I did manage to learn new katas and stuff like that prior. Um, this urn holds two people, so eventually when I die, I'll be on one side of the urn with him and whoever my future husband will be will eventually respect that and put me on the side next to him but lately I've been thinking about um, my fiance and uh, my fiance may want to have me cremated with him so I might change my mind about putting myself completely in with Ron I may put myself half and half with my fiance and half and half with Ron. So I'm with both my spouses, you know. I'm not quite married yet, but I'm getting close to getting married. But, um, this is seven years that Ron's passed away, and, um, it doesn't get any easier, but today I feel, even though I'm crying a little bit, even though I miss him, I am... How to explain it? I'm sad he's gone, but I'm moving away from the pain of his death, not his memory. I'm not forgetting this. I'm forgetting this pain. This pain of everything. Even though I've lost so much since his death. Gained things I cannot buy in the store. I've gained self confidence. I've gained tranquility. I've gained peace. I've gained understanding. I've gained a sense of appreciation for life more than I already had. I have lost so much, but I've gained so much more. And in, in, I, I lost house, right? But guess what? house could be replaced, but I've gained a peace of mind, which I've never had before. That you cannot buy in the store. I've lost cars, I've lost money, I've lost businesses, I've lost friends since his death. But I have gained family, I've gained my life, I've gained my son's life, my daughter's life, my friend's life, and everybody else's I cherish his life. I have a new fiance I would not have had found if it wasn't, no offense, for his death. Because I would have been so faithful to my, my husband. I would not have seen this man that I'm married, I'm now engaged to and planning on getting married to. And of course, because my vows to be faithful and to love him and cherish him. failed but it's failed me but not this time I feel like this time my husband brought this this man to me my fiance funny how they're both their names start with R <laughs> anyways um this is me diary of a grieving widow yes I've been crying this morning a little bit but I'm not I'm not moving on from my husband's 
memory. I'm moving on from the pain of losing him. So, um, yeah, we'll see you with the rest of the day. Every time around this time of year, around the anniversary of my husband's death, I always see a white dove, no matter where, everywhere I go. Or I see some type of animal anomaly, like an animal, like a, like a June bug will light on me, or some like rare bug will get on me of some sort, or an on, a butterfly will land on me around this time of year. And now this time, look at this. This white dove. A pure white dove. Look in the middle of your screen, guys. Isn't it pretty? Hi, beautiful. Hi, honey. Hi, beautiful. She was on my, my wire in my backyard earlier today and she fell asleep. I watched her sleep a little while and I said if she's going to be on the wire again then I was going to video her and show you all one of the anomalies that always happens to me around the anniversary of my husband's passing. But this time I have a white dove. Hi beautiful. Hi beautiful. Hi sweetheart. See white doves are uncommon here. <laughs> Period. They're uncommon. Even full white pigeons are hard to find here. And to uh to see one in my backyard on the anniversary of my late husband's passing and a white dove and she flew up this way hi sweetheart yeah but the C1 meant just for me to know that what white doves represent, they represent peace. And also now it's uh, seven years of his passing. The number seven is like the number of completion. And I don't feel so sad in my heart no more over his death, even though I miss him. And even though I'm moving on, I'm moving on not from his his memory. I'm moving on from the sadness and the pain of missing him. And I now have someone, my fiance, my wonderful fiance, who understands because <laughs> he's gone through it and what I'm going through. So, to see a white dove, to see all these anomalies every time around the anniversary of my late husband's death, <laughs> it's just peace. This time it's a white dove. A white dove. You saw it for yourself. Alright. I'm out.